Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick video of a new uh, brushless buggy that I picked up on uh, eBay. This is a, a Kyosho uh, Scorpion BXXLVE. Um, this is the brushless version. This comes in a uh, nitro version as well. Uh, it's 1 7 scale and uh, it's a pretty cool buggy. It's two wheel drive, not four. Um, it's quite large, like I said, 7th scale, um, and it is two-wheel drive, not four, which um, it's kind of a unique vehicle. Um, there's another version of this also. Um, it's also a buggy. It's the same chassis, same layout, just has different body and uh, different tires and wheels. Um, but I kind of like the look of this, and uh, I found one at a good price, so I picked it up. So this is what the BXXL looks like underneath the body. You can tell by the cage that this is uh, the same as the other version of the of the Scorpion buggy. The, it looks more like a sand rail. Um, so it's basically the same. It's got the same uh, motor and speed control. I think they call this the Vortex 7. It's, it's a, around a 40 millimeter motor, maybe a little bit uh, larger in diameter. It's 2150 kV. Uh, designed to run on 4S. The um, ESC is an Orion a waterproof ESC, which I think is a rebranded Hobby Wing, um, but it's only designed to run on 4S as well. It's got quite a large battery tray in front, which you can, looks like, basically run any kind of battery configuration. Um, there's a waterproof uh, receiver box, standard 10th scale servo, big bore shocks, and uh, that's about it. Um, not a big fan of these wheels. Um, they look a little small for the buggy and um, traction wise, uh, I haven't run it personally, but I know they're, they're said to not be very, very good traction wise. So um, what I wanna do is uh, mount a, a set of some Pro Lines and 3.8s. And these are actually kind of an unusual wheel off and show you. I already got the wheel mount loosened up on this guy. These are actually they're supposed to be monster truck size and um, these are actual real bead locks. They measure out just over three inches on the front. As you can see on the back they're quite a bit larger. They're almost four inches on the back so these are kind of a proprietary wheel almost like a, a short course truck. You know, different size front to rear, and you can tell by the profile here. There's a thin profile on this side, and how much wider it is here. So these, you can't really mount anything else up on these wheels other than, you know, the stock tire. So um, another thing about this buggy is um, the offset on the front end is uh, a little different from front to rear. This is just a set of. Uh, Proline F11, the wheels without tires, and uh, if you try to put these on the front, they will actually almost rub on the uh, front suspension. So what you have to do is um, buy different spacers, and these are the spacers you need to get. These are uh, Kyosho. The model is XX. SXW009, and what this is, it's a set of spacers. Um, actually, I think these are designed for the other buggies so that you can run the uh, monster truck tires. It comes with uh, five millimeter spacers for the front and 15 for the back. So what you do is you use the five millimeters for the front to bump the, the wheels out a little bit so you can run the larger um, truggy style tires. And what I'm, I've ordered is a set of the um, Proline Badlands, which seem to be what guys are using on this buggy. So uh, I should have those in the mail here in the next couple days and get those on and we'll take a look and see how, how that's going to work out. Just to show you guys uh, what I mean about the, the wheel offset, um, I have a set of Proline. Uh, these are the Rock Rage uh, tires and wheels that are off another vehicle of mine, uh, just because that's all I have right now to show, to compare. They're way too big for this vehicle, but the, 
the Badlands are going to have the same uh, size wheels with smaller tires, obviously. But as you can see in the rear, um, they bolt straight up with no issues. There's no rubbing or anything. But on the front, you'll see uh, how close how close you are on the top. And the back of the steering is where you'll have the issues where you'll be rubbing against uh, the tire here. So you'll need the spacers definitely to um, to make the front end work. So here you can see the um, the stock front front uh, 17 millimeter uh, hex adapters in the front and the um, the ones that I got in the package from Kyosho, and you can see the difference on uh, on this and how this will bump out the front uh, just enough to clear this front suspension. And this is the other size that comes in the package. Uh, this is the 15 millimeter spacer. Um, and this actually is exactly what's already being used on the rear. So um, you are going to have a little bit wider track in the front than you are with the rear when you use these. But uh, hopefully it won't be that noticeable or it'll look uh, awkward or funny. These uh, wheel spacers are pretty easy to install. Um, this just has a pin that goes through it, and uh, you just have to get that pin out. In order to do that, there's a little set screw in, uh, in the end here that holds that pin in place. Pop that lid out, get that loose. That's all you, you don't have to take that set screw out, you just have to get it loose and then you can uh, push this pin through. This guy just goes in its place. Sometimes it's a little tricky. You gotta hold the back end of this shaft so it doesn't slide out. Reposition that pin. Find the hole, which is the tricky part. the set screw I'm gonna pull it out because uh, well, I don't know maybe I could actually I'm gonna give it a try see if it'll go in far enough to hit that and it does so you can actually reuse the set screw but these uh, wheel spacers have this groove here and um, it comes with actually pins more pins and then it has this o-ring let's if I can get this open This O-ring is designed to uh, slip over that groove and actually is supposed to be what holds the pin in. So I'll put this on there anyways. But um, like I say, you can use the uh, you can use the set screw pin too. And this would just normally keep that pin from sliding out of the hole, but um, with the use of the set screw in addition. I will end up pulling that out, putting a little bit of Loctite on there so it doesn't want to back out. So that should make all the difference right there when you mount up this wheel. So get that to go on there. I'll get a quick shot of the back. There's where your issue is right there. You can see it's still still pretty close, but this, like I say, with this uh, tire and wheel combination, this is the rock rage, and the tires are quite a bit wider. The Badlands aren't going to be near as an issue, and they're going to be quite a bit smaller tires, so should have no problem. And this is just a quick look of. Uh how the car came out with the, the Badlands on it. And I ended up buying a set of uh, paddles, Proline paddles from the rear, because I want to take this guy to the beach and uh, see how it does there. But um, the offset's a little bit wider in the front, but it's really not too noticeable. And it looks pretty good, I think. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. All right, guys, thanks for watching.